Boom. Probably oh. hurt some people's ears. I, I hope, hope so. nobody I hope was so. listening with headphones. I hope you guys have that volume maxed out and ready to go. Happy Tuesday evening, everybody. April the 16th, 2024 here on planet Earth in the Fright Club studio. How are you guys doing today for this very chilled and very relaxed live stream nobody's going to be aggressive there's not going to be a lot of energy we're just going to be very laid back that's what today is all about yeah okay i hope you guys are doing really good i see somebody saying amoeba tony hawk like come on should i get up and do oh amoeba um anyways i missed you guys it's been a week uh we did not do a video last week we just did a live stream because we've been having some special things going on special things things we cannot speak about things we cannot say maybe because we don't have anything or <laughs> maybe because we do and we can't say so uh anyways i hope you guys are doing good i right now to start off the live stream first of all start it off everybody please put in the chat who has tickets to halloween horror nights already i want to know who has tickets to halloween horror nights right now who's got their hotels booked who's got express passes who's got behind the scream store who's got rip tours i want to know in the chat right now please put in the chat let's see who is attending halloween horror nights already ready to go rocking and rolling Not us. i want to see it <laughs> we don't know because we're we're waiting for frequent fear pass and if you're waiting for the frequent fear pass but let me see some frequent fear pass folks uh ffps in the chat ffp ffp for frequent fear pass pass <laughs> 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 hey, you were the one that said the B word on the live stream. Frequent fear people. Oh, nice. Was that him story? Yeah. He's knocked out, yeah. Anyways, Hondo's on the couch, knocked out. How are you guys doing this Tuesday evening? Tonight's live stream, very chilled, very relaxed. The agenda right now, talking about some current rumors. We're talking about some updates, some things that's kind of going on and stuff. And uh, just kind of chatting away with you guys. And, you know, we'll be looking at some of the IPs, some houses, scare zones, some of the things of that nature, as well as something that's currently going on internal, internally, <laughs> internally. Are you okay? No, I'm great. Uh, on the inside with Universal, some uh, some updates that we received that we will be talking about tonight, which will be super exciting. I'm excited for that. Let's see who we who we got. I got to go back to the chat. I never look at the chat. Chris I, McFarland said, "Plane, hotel, and cruise." After waiting on frequent fear tickets. Cruise. Right. I'll be sending you a message later. <laughs> See if we can get get on that cruise. Let's go. I love it. I love it. Also, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, I missed it. I got a phone call. I'm gonna do. Hold up, one second. I have to message this person. Boom. You good? Yeah. Just send oh, okay. It. Just send it out. <laughs> so just, you know, important stuff. You know, it's Brian Robinson from Epic University. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, so anyways, we'll be uh, chatting about that and doing some stuff like that. But as we are about 10 minutes into this live stream, and like I said, it might be a short one. It might be an hour, hour and a half long. We'll see how it goes. We got some things to talk about. Uh, we'll kind of just like chat with you guys and see how the chat's going. See what you guys want to do. And uh, I think... What we should do to start it off is by introducing the new segment that we have to our live streams moving forward, which is rapid fire Q and A here. I with do Brian feel like Steph. we will typically do this at the end when we have like a lot of topics to talk about. I'm sorry, but you're a party pooper right now. <laughs> and I say that in the nicest way, but you just pooped in my party. Why? Because they're not supposed to know that. Oh, sorry. I'm kidding. No, yeah, stuff's right. We'll we'll do this usually at the end of the live streams. Um, like every live stream at the end, we'll probably go ahead and do that. There'll be one every live stream. However, tonight, since it's the first one, we're gonna be doing two today. One to start off, one to end off. And that means you guys right now need to be sending in questions in the chat. Send some questions. Steph and I are gonna read some out rapid fire style. And in just a second, I'm gonna get the timer going. And when that timer starts to end. We will be answering your questions rapidly. Rapidly. Which is the point of a rapid fire. If you guys don't know, 
rapid fire Q&A means a question and answer segment where somebody asks a question and the other person answers rapidly. Quickly. With brevity. Now you're getting way beyond <laughs> my understanding of all right, all right, language. All right, all right, all right. All right, so let's do this. Ready? We're going to start the timer. Stephanie, you find a question, and let's get this going to start off tonight's very chill live stream. No energy needed. Okay. Um, what HHN IP house would you not walk into and why? What HHN IP <clears throat> house would I not walk into and like why? if they made a, a house based off this IP. Oh, my gosh. Uh... <sighs> Something Disney related. Uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Okay. That's what I would say. What about you? What, what would you say? I don't know. I'd be very hesitant to walk into a sinis sinister house. Yeah, I know the, they did sinister before. Yeah. I didn't do it that year. That, that'd be a good house. That's a good house. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying like, I don't know if I would want to do I mean, like, what that if they house did, like, because that movie really freaked me out. Okay, but what if they picked like Charmin Ultra? We're like, we're gonna do. I mean, yeah, tonight, but maybe. I feel like that's kind of low hanging fruit. I guess. All right, all right, rapid fire, rapid fire. We spent a minute on one question. Are you picking the next one? You go ahead. You pick another one. I I don't look at the chat. Oh, oh. I don't even um, know who they are. <laughs> Best HHN house ever. Uh, Universal Classic Monsters 2019. That's what I would say. I'm biased. Cool. Stephanie is probably 2018 Slaughter Cinema, I would say. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite house. Boom. All right, I'll get the next one. Uh, will we get two shows? I'm, I'm assuming that's for this year. My, uh, I don't know, actually. I my, really don't uh, know. My, uh, 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 Stephanie, what do you think? I think we will. Here, I'm going to throw one question out there. I'm hopeful. Do you think we're going to get a Lagoon show for HHN? I'm year? hopeful, yes. Really? You think so? I'm They've been doing a lot of work yes. on it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> for everything. <laughs> okay, uh, I got the next one too. Uh, any surprise IPs you want this year? Surprise? I feel like nobody has been talking about Fall of the House of Usher, and I we've talked about that. I really want that. So. I agree. I would love that, but also to stick to the Netflix sec like section. Mm -hmm. I would also like Fear Street. Yeah. I would love to see Fear Street, even though I've never seen it. I think that would do pretty good amongst the audience. Depending on which. Which one they pick. Yeah. Uh, okay, you go. Next. Uh, pick oh, a question. God. Oh, God. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Rapid fire. This is not HHN related necessarily. That's fine. Hey, that's fine. Have you guys done the Universal Escape Rooms and were they any good? Yes. yes. We have done both. We've done both. They are incredible. I love the Back to the Future one. Back to the Future was harder than yeah. Jurassic World, world but they're both so much fun. yeah i highly if you haven't done it do it highly recommend that was probably the best escape room experience i've ever done like the theming is yeah and there and not to spoil anything but there's one section in the back to the future part that takes you back to the 80s i didn't want to leave let's just say that mm -hmm. all right go ahead best hhn food you've ever had best hhn food i've ever had to be honest, what pops in my mind, something that sticks to my mind constantly, was back in HHN 30 when they had the Haunting of Hill House food booth, and it was the uh, the brisket uh, sandwich. That was one of my favorite yeah. things at HHN. Quarter steps, corn dog. Uh, there's some runner ups, but that's my favorite. I think my favorite is still the No Chance in Hell PB and J from Ooh. the first year that from they did 30 it. HHN yeah. 30. Yeah, that yeah. one. That is still my favorite one too out of the two. Okay, uh, I got this one. Do you think Stain Scream is worth it? absolutely oh yeah oh my gosh i i would say stage scream is worth it more than anything else if like especially if you're trying to budget stage scream absolute period yeah, definitely we'll worth the price yes rapid fire uh oh, oh let's see any info about the end of the simpsons area and what's replacing it that is actually supposed to be like a rumor in a rumor video that we might create i don't know yet um I know there's a lot of people talking about Pokemon. I po don't want Here's that. the thing. Pokemon's cool. I just don't think it belongs in Universal Studios Florida. I just don't think that area. Like, I know they can extend it. I just think they need to do something different. I don't want that. I would be down for a Back to the Future area. Bring it back. Yes. Okay. You're I, have a, I have a good one. Go, go, uh, go. Favorite house facade. <laughs> it's tough. I think... My Just favorite. Throw it out there. Throw it out there. Poltergeist. Oh, I never got to see Poltergeist. 
Oh, you know what? To be honest, Haunting of Hill House. I know we bring in, we're bringing Haunting of Hill House up a quite a bit. Hill House was really Hill good. House was really cool. That that was such a good tone. But Dead Man's Pier and Legends Collide also had some really incredible facades. Mm -hmm. Oh man, throw those three in the mix, and you know you got a good fight. Yeah. Uh, we got time for one more. One more. Let's see. Uh, I got one right here. How would you describe the smell of HHN smell? LOL. The smell of HHN smell like the fog i would describe the smell of the hhn smell to be like being born for the first time and opening your eyes and seeing blue sky a sun over there bright in the distance green flowy grassy hills little white toy story clouds I and then it's supposed to be rapid in a blink of an eye what well, was the last question so we're in in the blink of an eye it all turns to trees with no leaves and wind blistering through the sky with blistering. ghosts and bats all around and a howl from the hondo in the deep i will say if you want to get technical with it i feel like the fog almost has like a a musky smell to it musky. but it also at the same time smells kind of like clean and like when you just blow out a candle, if that makes sense. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I really get, I'm trying to think of all those like into one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, we can experiment with that and see if that works. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the rapid fire Q and A to start off the live stream. Uh, if we didn't get to your questions, uh, sorry, it sucks. Well, we're going to be I'm doing, we'll, we'll do another one later. We're going to be doing Q and A at the end so save your question yeah so if, if you didn't get answered if you didn't get answered don't worry later tonight in tonight's live stream right before we wrap it up we will be doing another one so no problem also i can't there we go i can't click off it all right 18 minutes in tonight's live started off i want to talk about one thing currently going on oh well, there's a couple things obviously but to start it mm -hmm. off right hollywood HHN Hollywood. Do we have anybody from the West Coast? Fans of HHN Hollywood in the chat. Is there anybody out there that's from the West Coast? I uh, saw a few people when we were talking about tickets say that they're waiting for Hollywood to release theirs. We're waiting for that. Should we should we go to Hollywood this year? That's the question. Yeah, that's the question. Steph and I, we want to go to Hollywood, but like it's gotten so expensive where it's like this year to even just go do our Orlando stuff, we're kind of like Oh, oh, oh God, how many of these events are there? Uh, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's tough, but we want to do Hollywood. We might do it, but I, I see we got a couple of people from the West coast out there. I can see that. Um, HH and Hollywood y'all. Hey, we got some facades going up, huh? We got some construction going on. Um, there's one in the, uh, the H lot or whatever, the, the, the giant facade, what everyone's talking about. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of rumors are going around that it's Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. It's looking like that. That would be incredible. I, I would love to see Nightmare on Elm Street come to the event. We've never got to experience Freddy Krueger at Halloween Horror Nights before, me and stuff. Correct. Um, we've had it on both coasts, obviously, in the past. But if that facade is nightmare on elm street could we also begin it here on the east coast in orlando that's what people have been saying so and that's the rumor that's and that's rumor. tonight's live stream <laughs> Good night. uh yeah it, it's so cool to be able to see it's like okay here's the thing i'm like 50 50 because on the west coast you get to see all this construction in person right yeah. and it's really cool to see the progress of it however excuse me However, doesn't it kind of like almost give it away? A little. When it gets like, yeah, I hear that too. I think it might be your computer. Oh, maybe. Yeah, she's, I was supposed to say, like, <laughs> why does it sound like a plane's about to take off? It's about off? to take off, yeah. Yeah, it's the computer. Um, what were you saying? Oh. <laughs> what? Wait, what was I saying? I do think that when it gets like further along, you can definitely tell like what some of the houses are. But I feel like at that point, like most of the spec maps 
have been out and like we have a good idea i think that seeing the facades and stuff definitely like confirms it though and that might take away from it a little bit yeah like it does take it away but you know it depends on the announcement season that horror nights brings to us like they bring it early and stuff then obviously we can pinpoint what is what and then it'd be really cool to just kind of see the progress along the way but uh we've been we've been getting some uh some progress photos and stuff for the construction going on and it's really cool to see that construction going up and still nobody really knowing what it is but kind of trying to pinpoint oh this could be that this could be this mm -hmm. uh it's kind of cool whereas here on the east coast uh for our orlando friends as you guys know we we don't get any of that house construction stuff mm -hmm. like in view the the only ones are the sprung tents uh and that's usually later on they'll come up when we you know kind of already know what's going on and another thing too talking about sprung tents like, how's the construction going on for the sprung tents currently the new ones i haven't i haven't seen anything but there's a tight window and getting some things done you know <laughs> yeah. um you know they talked about doing the unmasking the horror tour starting august 11th which means that announcements have to be not August 10th, but like two weeks before that, everything's gonna be announced, as well as the houses need to be prepared, whatever is on that, I think it's just a three house tour. Mm -hmm. Whatever's on the three house tour lineup, uh, everything needs to be ready to go for guest operations starting August 11th. So it'd be really interesting to see what they're deciding because usually, uh, you know, the, the sprung tents have always been like original houses. We haven't gotten an IP at a sprung tent since 2019 for the sprung tents i think since 2019 with house of a thousand corpse mm. yeah well no that was the men in black tent yeah so still even a, before that still a tent technically i mean true but not a sprung tent. but it's not a sound stage. chat hey i forgot you guys are here <laughs> good to see you guys uh, yeah, Javier Ian said House of Thousand Corpse and H29, but that was the Men in Black tent, right? Yeah, that was the Men in Black tent. Or if that was the Texas Chainsaw HHN26, yeah. Yes, I think I think that was it, so 26. Um, so it's like those sprung tents are usually for, you know, originals, but since the parade buildings are supposedly not going to be used anymore, at least for this year, we're going to get these new locations being built for Halloween Horror Nights. Are we going to get IPs out there too? And it, I just start looking at like what's on the three house tour. Usually one of the parade buildings or like the, t I think, right? Usually one of the parade buildings or the sprung tents on there, or is it just the sound stages that are part of the three house tour? Or is it vice versa? I'm I don't thinking. know. We've always only done the six house. Right. I'm like losing my information right now, right off the top of my head. But uh, it'd be interesting to see it, you know how quickly these sprung tents come up how quickly the progress of construction for the houses happen within them as well as the facades the exterior because if you guys see i mean you know i'm pretty sure our current sprung tents right now from what i'm hearing is there's construction going on obviously on the inside we're not showing anything on the outside whereas hollywood as you guys can see on the outside they are showing construction on the outside obviously for the facades and stuff but they also have construction going on on the inside here in orlando we, we still have to build the building that this is going to be housed in and then construct the house as well as a facade potentially for the exterior uh so it's it's like all hands on deck i feel like when it comes to this mm -hmm. at least that's what i'm hearing from the inside of hondo's informative group the informants of hondo <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say um on top of that we have also heard that supposedly i've gotten from multiple people saying universal casting has been making some phone calls so we have some phone calls going out there and we have some people being asked for specific requirements mm -hmm. like stephanie are you okay with shaving your head bald no well now we have a problem because we, <laughs> we wanted you to that's all right <laughs> okay bye <laughs> um so yeah so we we've been hearing some of the within the casting that is everybody okay with like you know certain people are you okay with shaving your head bald completely mm -hmm. what could that be and when you look at these specifications as to 
why are they asking this? It could be leading for specific characters that they have. What kind of bold characters besides Chris Dustings are we looking at for the event? So, let's see here. I, I don't he think so. Uh, there's his little shout out. So, uh, you know, are we looking at IP based? Are we looking at original base? Because if it's originals, I feel like that's just, you know, it's up in the air. It's easy to do that. And thinking of like original characters that are fitting of that requirement, I don't really see any. But I feel but like IPs, they could. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they could just do like people with short hair and just do like a bald cap. Yeah. But like what IP character or property would consist of a character of such? Crystal and, I, and Andrew said Freddy. You see, I know a lot of people are saying Freddy, but however, Freddy more than likely could be a mask. Yeah. They've used masks in uh, in years past too for that. Because, I mean, the prosthetics for that would be so much. I can't see them having... Unless <laughs> they have, like, one specific character to be full, full of it. Mix and minions. Min minions? Oh, so this is... No. This is going back to the minions house confirmation. Oh god. <laughs> minions. We're looking for minions to just roam the streets of uh Universal. Uh somebody said Mr. Sweets. And Justin said so Mr. Sweets. Mr. Sweets ain't he's not bald though, is he? Was he? I thought he had a hat on. He did, but was he balding? I don't know. Maybe. Shrek. <laughs> Shrek? Hey. I don't know if this is the right stream. We're just can't name think, every every person in history who has ever been bald. Slimer. <laughs> We're just gonna splash them with green paint. And get out there. <laughs> That's all we got. That's all the budget. Epic took it all. Pitbull. <laughs> We're really getting out there, chat. Mr. Wo Worldwide. Yeah, let's 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 reel us back in here. Let's reel it back in. <laughs> so uh, so obviously one of the uh, the conversations going out there Tony is Toretto. is uh bald um yes it looks like they are casting either bald people or asking people to shave their heads yes for a role a role which they did role. do this back in every year <laughs> well, I, I literally well, think yeah, it's been a lot of but like budget. that dramatic though i feel like the last time they did it was for the first stranger things house because they were asking the, the girls who played l to shave their heads yeah um They've done other stuff like, will you like shave your your facial hair or yeah. things like that? Um, I mean, some of the other questions too is like, you know, do you wear contacts? Can you wear contacts? Yeah, I've gotten that before. Yeah, Just random stuff. Whatever like fits the, the character. Mm -hmm. So, is it men or women that they're asking? Ask the question. I don't know. Oh, we don't know who they're. I've gotten uh, Ooh, different asking. people uh, that was asked. So, do you get a bonus if you shave your head? No. No. <laughs> Just you get a pat on your back and a new look. You get cast. That's about it. <laughs> Pretty much. If they ask you a question, you have a good chance. So, uh, so that's one of the things kind of going on. So, with that, you can kind of pinpoint and what we're looking at as far as a specific character or role coming to the event. We can start pinpointing towards ips originals what characters do we know within the lore of horror nights that could be showing up as such another one too is i haven't written down do hablas espanol no well then sorry that's two strikes for you one more <laughs> and you're not getting cast this year it looks like i'm not being a character um we got a uh, and we, we got one we got one of them which that's very interesting because it would have to be like an actor, a position, somebody who is like actually speaking to guests. Yeah. Th to be honest, I don't know if this one is real or not. This is what we're hearing, right? But they're asking if you can speak Spanish. And just like Stephanie said, you don't need to be, you don't need to speak Spanish to scare people or be a scare actor. Unless you are, like Steph said, an actor A position where you will be speaking to guests. Like if you guys remember back in HHN 31, we had Fesa de la Chupacabras when you had the the abuela, right? Abuela. Mm -hmm. When you had her. She's a mask maker. The mask maker. Right? Call her the abuela, whatever. Uh, our abuela. She knows. She, she's watching. She knows. Shout out to Wella and Wello. Um, However, 
when you had the scare actor dining, you had the mask maker actually speak to people in the scare actor dining experience. Mm -hmm. We've had that experience. So it's like, okay, are we, we get into that one speculated property people have been talking about of another Latin America uh, house coming to the event original. And if you guys remember last year, one of the fan favorited, and I think also house of the year houses from last year's HH in Hollywood was Monstros. And that was our favorite house of last year's HH in Hollywood event. Mm -hmm. So things could be pointing in that direction potentially, but why would we need somebody to speak that unless we have somebody in the house, like at the facade that's yeah, verbally like speaking to guests? Juice. Yeah, like Beetlejuice, like Ghostbusters. Uh, we've well, had. Ghostbusters was uh, pre recorded. Was it? I thought she was. I don't think so. Hmm. We need to ask the chat. Chad, do you guys know if the... If she was speaking, it wasn't improv. It was canned lines. Hmm. Um, but that's still like, that fits the description, you know? Yeah, but I'm saying that's, maybe that's why I'm thinking it was... Okay. Um, it could also be that they want people in that scare zone I was, to speak Spanish. I was about so to they say, could like, it could be zone, more authentic. Right. A show yeah i'm not talking like nightmare fuel show i'm talking like just a scare zone little uh stage show potentially could do something like that that'd be really cool mm -hmm. maybe an opening scaremony potentially i don't know what about scare actor dining could we have scare actor dining back maybe i think no <laughs> <laughs> i i just where else are they gonna put it they didn't do it last year, right? No. Yeah. Did they? No, they didn't do Scare Actor Dining last year. No. So, I don't know. I feel like if we got Scare Actor Dining, like, Louis is, like, the best location for it because it's right there in the Stain Scream locations and stuff. But it's, like, it's just hard. More. It's hard to do that because it's operational and not mm -hmm. Halloween-themed during the day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's why... The Monsters Cafe. Is that what it was called? Oh, Monsters Cafe. That's why it was so perfect, because yeah. it was already themed. It was perfect. Monsters Cafe. Like, I missed I miss that. I saw, uh, not to go so off topic, but I saw a video the other day on TikTok of somebody just posting old clips from Monsters Cafe, and I almost started crying. Because I, mi I miss that. I'm. It's crazy when you, you get so used to how the park layout looks after a few months, few years. And then you see a video of what it was before the changes and it's like i like completely forgot about that yeah. it's like a, a completely different park and new experience anyways not trying to get too off topic i got a question right i know also uh justin said she said what about mel's like at mel's i thought mel's would be a really cool location for only problem is that it's not connected directly to a state and scream location that's where they might have issues of have, having people come in and come out because it, it, there's some logistic things that they have to hold and have people waiting on the side for it. That's why Louis works so well because they have people come into the stain screen location, knowing that's going to be a holding area for them to experience the scare actor dining. Mm -hmm. um, but Mel's dining would be cool. I do want to look at what Monsters the wasn't in a stain screen location. That's true. I'm sure they can figure it out. Oh, well, Monsters technically wasn't that attached to. Uh... To like the new york section though like the entrance where they can have it i don't think they really did it that way back then yeah i don't know that's a good question it was just finnegan's and then well, it was like new york yeah kind of. i don't know i gotta look at that that's a, that's a good question um i don't know but i was gonna say something now i completely forgot what was that minions cafe minions Oof. Um, I do I do wonder what the, the seating capacity is at Louis compared to Versus Mel's nice. and see what the difference is in the seating capacity. Also, speaking of Mel's, this is not Halloween Horror Nights related. <laughs> I forgot that I was going to say this in tonight's live stream. Stephanie and I, we talked about this and I said, I'm going to have to bring it up in this live stream. I love Mel's dying, driving, whatever. I call it the dying. I love Mel's dying. I love the food there. I really do. I love the theme. I love everything about it. 
However, this new change that they have where it seems like they really rely and push the mobile order on the app has not really been the best experience. The past few times, not just the last time, the past few times that we've gone to Universal, we've gone to Mel's to eat. And I don't know why I keep doing this because I'm like, oh, no, it, it can't just be every time. It had to be just that one time. And we ordered on the app to do mobile order. And I have waited at the counter when it says it's ready for over 30 minutes for the food because they've been so far behind. They don't have it organized and set up and ready. And there's been so many people in it. I'm patient. I'll wait. I know things happen. However, there's like the whole entire place was filled with people just waiting for orders. And this isn't just one time. This is multiple times, multiple times that we've done this recently. It's been bad. And when I was just waiting, I was like, let me just look around the restaurant, see, and there's barely anybody sitting down eating. Everyone's still waiting for the food. So there's there's a an issue there that hey if you're universal if you're watching help please because I love Mel's Diane but there's something going on with the app where I feel like there's a an overload of orders going in at specific times that are too close to each other while in peak moments for like lunch and dinner around that time period. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I feel like Universal hasn't fully fleshed out the the mobile ordering situation or yeah. maybe just so many more people are using it now that it's they're not Possibly. able to keep up with it because i remember when um there were a few times we ordered at like richter's and did mobile order and they would bring it right to your table yeah like immediately and they, that was so long. nice and it was good like yeah. it was quick and everything so i don't know what's going on over there but yeah that it needs to be fixed i love mel's diane but the past few experiences with how it's been has been really uh it's been bumming me out cool yeah. glad we <laughs> all had that talk glad you guys all agree with me i'm glad to see it glad to see it i agree fred i wish it every time you open the mobile app it didn't log you out and ask you to log back in <laughs> yeah that too there's there's some things that they need to work on with the app they're getting there we just still need to work on some some tweaks yeah. just little tweaks here and just there. little things um also crazy to see that we have like over 200 people just watching us right now nothing better to do on this <laughs> tuesday april 16th it blows my mind but they're truly, hoping we have all the answers <laughs> we do but i'm not telling you them um but i, I mean seriously like seeing that like we appreciate it like y'all yeah. rock <laughs> just random side note uh but let's move on with some of the rumors and stuff that we have going on i did see somebody ask um if the weekend is coming that is our next topic yeah go ahead take it away stuff <laughs> we're hearing not necessarily as a house but as a scare zone correct yep that's it that's about it yeah there you <laughs> go uh some of the uh, rumors going on surrounding the weekend uh has been stirring up the past few weeks and the conversation right now on the street is that the weekend could be coming to this year's Halloween Horror Nights, which I'm not against. I, I, I want to know, chat, would you guys be up for the weekend to return to Orlando? If you guys experienced it, obviously, in the past, would you guys be up for it? I want to know in the chat. I want ones if you guys want the weekend to show up this year, and I want twos if you guys don't want the weekend. So ones and twos, spam in the chat. Let's see what the, the answers are. But surprisingly, I am a one. You're a one? Yeah. You're a one? You are number one. <laughs> he was number one. Yeah. I was very hesitant about the weekend house. I even like remember tweeting when they announced it. I remember like quote tweeting the announcement and being like, I'm trying to keep an open mind because <laughs> I was like, I don't see how this is going to be good. Um, but we ended up loving that house and I really like like the music and I like the vibe that that music has. Yeah, it was a good vibe. And I think it, I it think, was fun. I think fun music that also kind of has that maybe like a little a, bit darker vibe to yeah. it would be great for a scare zone because you have some liveliness to the scare zone. I think one of the biggest issues we've seen in the scare zones in general, the last year two years is when it's just like 
kind of quiet and maybe there's not a lot of people going through depending on the purpose of it yes like yeah. um why am i blanking on the name come on girl you got it graveyard graveyard like that one Deadly unrest. that one obviously it's not supposed to be super lively and we really like that zone but then we had zodiac last year which just kind of felt like like just I'm dead sorry, but the whole time to me zodiac it yeah. just wasn't <laughs> like and i think a lot of that was like the ambience and the music like it just there just wasn't really anything going on as far as like yeah the, the uh, audio like one comment we got we need atmosphere yeah absolutely one of my favorite things actually my absolute favorite thing about halloween horror nights is the atmosphere it's the energy it's the atmosphere that it brings and it's okay to have places in uh certain storylines that obviously are are not supposed to be intense and aggressive they can be slow like dead man's pier uh or dead man's pier yeah i don't know i was about to say dead man's wharf dead man's pier dead man's mm -hmm. wharf is the same thing where it's very like uh it's, it's slow it's sad it's dark um it's supposed to be depressing in a way same with like graveyard deadly unrest in a way yeah but they that is the purpose of the story that they succeed in fulfilling mm -hmm. but the whole park's not like that the atmosphere of horror nights is every key detail houses scare zones shows foods lines guests everything even weather plays into a factor yeah and you don't necessarily need a music artist scare zone for it to no, have it, good atmosphere it'd be cool to have billy idol idol i'm just saying <laughs> billy idol would be i mean fantastic. we've had how we've had scare zones in the past that are not based on a music artist and have amazing atmosphere even yep. um scarecrow yeah, like the, the atmosphere in there was awesome even though it wasn't like it wasn't super lively or like it didn't it wasn't overpowering but the music and the sounds in there just it yeah. just fit so perfectly and it was noticeable even if you know it wasn't like overwhelming it was definitely noticeable when you walked through there and mm -hmm. i feel like that's what we were missing in like zodiac last year so i'm not saying that we need to have a we don't need to have a a music artist in a scare zone but i do think that it could like i think it could be a really cool scare zone for the weekend the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i i agree i i was surprised with the house um i was one of those people that was kind of skeptical of it um i remember the whole thing was like the weekend's not horror and all it's like eh. it's like we'll see we'll see how they mm -hmm. convey that into the house and i think they they did great i think there was casting issues as far as filling the house there was always issues with that however the house was fun it was i enjoyed it but the talk is of it not being a house but a scare zone and to be honest every time we actually go to universal orlando resort one of the greatest theme parks in the entire world if you guys haven't been paying attention every time we've been going to universal when we walk through security and we go through the we moving walkways the and it's in city walk the weekend's playing i told brian the music's playing. i told brian i think part of his contract for the last house was that like his music has to be like on the area loop for like Ever. city walk or something because it is always playing there i mean every single time steph and i walk through city walk and go through the moving walkways <laughs> the weekend is playing and what's funny is i don't hear that song and the music that is playing that's the weekend i don't hear it and go like oh it's the weekend i hear it i'm like oh hhn, HHN yeah. i think hhn um but and that's obviously, because of the house yes obviously yeah but it just like it clicks it clicks i don't know it clicked for me and so thinking of having that in the park as a scare zone i think would be really awesome I really do and i think out of all the scare zones i think more than likely it'll be in hollywood if that's a section for it so i can just imagine having the weekend in hollywood as a scare zone and the closest thing i can think of of trying to describe what it would kind of look like would be back in hhn 29 when we had vanity ball mm -hmm. as a scare zone all the neon lights 
you had uh the whole stage that you had multiple stages but the main stage in the center you had somebody speaking also you had a um, what is it like actor a like you called it right actor a mm -hmm. like a voice role and i could just imagine and like the whole thing they had 80s music playing which was oh god was so great that scare zone was a lot of fun the energy was always high in that scare zone there was never a moment where it was just kind of dead it was always going i feel like that's what the weekend scare zone would bring especially in hollywood i would expect it to be like that vibe and i mean to hear his music like that'd be cool i'm down for that and to see the characters roaming around i feel like would the house was fun but i feel like it would be better and received better if it was instead a scare zone because i feel like you can fill the scare zone more easily than you can a house and thinking of all the characters roaming around mm -hmm. think of all the photo opportunities and the music going i think that'd be loads of fun that's the current rumors that's what's currently going on people <laughs> so yeah classic surgery actors the toad weekend old weekend and others maybe literally like vanity ball that's mm -hmm. i mean that's like how it was in vanity ball without a, the toad yeah, i don't think there's be, any frogs it wouldn't be as like i mean yeah never mind yeah anyways <laughs> that like high fashion no i mean it's the weekend it's not vanity ball yeah so yeah vanity ball to feet the weekend um so the next rumor let's see if i can find it i had it on my screen i lost it oh no i lost my list i had a tab for my list it's gone well, I guess you guys don't get to see the next conversation piece that we had for you. That's a bummer for y'all. Nice. Too bad for them. I mean, I know it and you know it. Then why don't you say it? Because we're going to keep it a secret now from these people. It'll be a rumor. <sighs> can't, it can't be a rumor if you don't tell anybody. I mean, some people do know, right? I think so. Yeah. Do you think it would be Dawn FM or, I mean, we got uh, After Hours. Yeah, I think it'll be the next yeah yeah i Agreed. think it'll be the next album it'll be the next thing Agreed. i want to do a poll in the okay. chat should we do a poll in the chat i don't know what that was it was like resting probably it was just locked in uh stephanie's gonna put a poll in the chat for you guys ask the chat this would you guys rather see a nightmare on elm street house come to the event or would you guys rather see the weekend scare zone come to the event if you got one or the other which one would you guys pick stephanie's gonna put a poll in the chat for you guys to choose it's coming up in three two one should be live in the poll live live poll live poll in the chat uh, for you guys i want to see what you guys think do we want nose or weekend also when everybody was talking about nose and oes i was like what is that yeah we nose? both were like what nose and then it took me a minute and i was like oh nightmare on elm street <laughs> oh i've never heard it referred to as that until like hhn like i've never heard it it being abbreviated like ever it's nightmare on elm street interesting so that's the hhn community for y'all I'd rather have a different IP. See, what, what, what do you got both? right now? What you got right now? What you got right now? 78% Nightmare on the yeah. Street. What, what would you vote for if you had to choose out of these two? You can get one or the other. Do you get a weekend scare zone or do you get a Nightmare on Elm Street house? And why is it Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah, I definitely think Nightmare on Elm Street. As much as we just talked about the weekend and how cool it would be as a scare zone. If I had to pick. I just think Nightmare on Elm Street. Come, I mean, come on. Wake up, people. Like Nightmare on Elm Street, like that's a that's a house for Halloween Horror Nights. Like mm -hmm. that would be a good one. They've done successful ones in the past. Bring it back. I'd love to see it. We've never mm -hmm. got to experience it too, so I'd love to see it. And then that gives me the excuse and reason to actually finally watch those films, that <laughs> franchise, because I've never seen it. So I feel like we talk about that every live stream, and then every live stream we get at least one person to comment and be like, "What? You haven't seen them?" Yeah, I haven't seen it. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I'm just not a horror person. Lo siento. We have, I have gotten him to watch a lot more horror 
since he's gotten like really into HHN and everything um, the last several years. But that is one franchise that I haven't really been able to get him to watch. And I've explained it before, but <laughs> but he has um, sleep paralysis, so we call it. I'm glad you didn't say I have bedwetting problems. <laughs> sleep paralysis. Yeah, sleep paralysis. So anything that has to do with like nightmares or like getting stuck in your sleep, like is not really. Yeah. Also, hate to interrupt your little conversation there. Somebody asked, Jason Smith said, how was Hereditary? I think I told everybody I was going to go see it that Wednesday. I was wrong. You were wrong. Hereditary is actually April 24th, next week, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That day is the day we're supposed to go see Hereditary. That's the only day that it's in theaters. Yes. So we'll see if we get the chance to see it. We got tickets, yeah. but nothing's confirmed with us if we're able to go and make it happen. As long as something doesn't come up, we are going to see it. Yes. Stuff is going to drag me. And it's an IMAX. I'm yes. so excited. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to go see Hereditary. This is one of my favorite movies. Also, uh, we're kind of like jumping around here with films. We do plan. I know some people are asking in the chat, too. Uh, we do plan to actually watch some horror films closer to HHN. Uh, the closer we get to HHN, Steph and I will bring up some horror films. If you guys have been following us on Instagram, you guys know, as well as on YouTube, I think we talked about it here in a live stream uh, previously, months ago. We've been watching some 80s and 70s and 90s horror mm -hmm. films and stuff, some good old classics uh, that we've been watching that we haven't seen, or at least I haven't seen. And we stopped for the purpose of wanting to save some of those closer to HHN. Uh, just so we can have some conversations with you guys and obviously anything that's announced by halloween horror nights that either we have or haven't seen we will be watching i don't think we'll be doing any live watch parties however we may do something with discord potentially we might we might bring something around mm -hmm. i'm not too sure about that we'll, we'll talk about it but yeah yeah imax yes hereditary and imax mm -hmm. it's gonna be the greatest i'm gonna be i'm gonna be watching the movie like this just watching his like reaction. Like I'm not even gonna watch the movie. I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> I think I'm hyping it up so much that we're gonna get done. You're gonna be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. I'm hoping so. I don't know. From what you've told me, from what the chat knows and years past of my reaction to you talking about Hereditary, I'm always like, okay, all right, cool, sure. <laughs> I think sure. I think he has some of the spoilers already ruined for him. Yeah, Do you? yeah. What yeah. the for Hereditary? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that scene. I think he already knows about it. There's a couple of that scenes that I've heard about supposedly. Oh, that scene. Oh, there's this scene. People are gonna know scene. what I mean by when I say that. Talking scene. about the little girl. Yes. Yes. Can't <laughs> See, wait to start the movie off strong. He already knows. So. And I have like a whole like image in my head of how that whole scene's going to oh, go. Oh, it's worse than what you're thinking. <laughs> uh. 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 Okay. I'm so excited. Let's talk about happiness <laughs> and how we don't have that here anymore in this yeah, channel. So, okay. So one thing about Brian is he would much rather watch a horror movie in the theaters he than watch it at home. So there was a period of time where we were, we were thinking he was never going to watch hereditary he was like no that's not for me three and a half weeks ago because he was like if it's not in theaters i don't want to see it like i don't want to watch it at home so up until you know we found out it was going to be re-released in theaters we thought he was never going to watch it so i did tell him some of the scenes um because we have talked about like the movie before i it's one of my favorite movies so i've told him about some of the scenes because I didn't think he was ever gonna watch it. But now that it's being re-released into theaters, he's agreed to go and actually watch it. So much so that I know how badly Steph wants to see this, that I got the tickets for Hereditary mm -hmm. in IMAX. I got them. 
I kind of feel sick. Like I'm almost like wanting to throw up like nauseous. No, it's not that it. bad. It's not that bad. Hey, it's not that bad, but that scene. But oh, that scene is so much worse than you could imagine, Brian. Oh, everybody was hyping up Late Night with the Devil, but I was kind of disappointed. No, who said that? We're sad to hear that. We it? liked that movie. Who said it? Who said it? Who said it? I can't. I can't see because uh, you're also real quick. Um, poll information on the poll. I want to shut it down because I can't move. Oh it. yeah, seventy six percent. Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So 76% Nightmare on Elm. Yeah, nice. we've been hearing really good things about The Last Omen. We need to go see it. Yeah, I guess we could. <laughs> could do that. Um, who who said uh, Night Night with the Devil? Uh, Ada, I don't know how to say her name. With the little bat. Oh, yeah, I see. Ada Lidia? Ada Lidia? I, I like I'm the sorry. bat, though. We'll just call you bat. Um, yeah, it, I loved Late Night with the Devil. I, I thought Late Night with the Devil was really good i love the fact that it, from start to finish it was like there was no cuts in it it felt like you were watching a show from start to finish how a show would be um i thought it was cool i personally enjoyed it i thought it was great yeah i feel like the what was that ending that's like what we loved about it that it just like ended and we're like oh yeah okay like, <laughs> deal with it like that's that's how it was um yeah, it, I don't know. I liked it. I personally thought it was really good. Um, I'm kind of sad to hear that you didn't really enjoy it. I'm sad. I mean, everybody. There are movies that, you know, I love that you didn't like. Yeah, and there's things that I you love, love and you that don't, I like. don't like. That's a lot of things. <laughs> I, what was, what am I, I saw Javier say Malignant and now that's stuck in my head and I can't remember the one that we saw in theaters. Oh, we saw in theaters, and I didn't care for it, but you did? Yeah. You're talking about Infinity Pool? No, but that is one. That one, I was like, what is going on? I felt like that, too. Um, no. The one with Bill Skarsgård and Justin Long, the mama. Oh, you're talking about the barbarian. Or baby. Yeah. <laughs> The mama. <laughs> Bar yeah. Barbarian. You're talking about yes. Barbarian. For some reason, I always get Barbarian and Malignant. No, I thought Barbarian was up. really good. But yeah, but we got is... out of it and you were like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, because there were scenes <laughs> in there that I was like, I feel disgusted right now. But Barbarian was good. But I just, it was one of those movies where I was like, ah, I need to like. Take a shower. <laughs> take a shower. I'll go to Hollywood Studios, walk around a bit, go to Universal after. I loved that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, here's a question. Uh, you know, Barbarian. Do you think Barbarian could have been a house at Halloween Horror Nights? Do you think that could be one? I feel like it would kind of be repetitive. That would be cool. It would be cool, but, but repetitive, like those, right? like the, the tunnel. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but the it has tunnels. been out for a while. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen Barbarian, check it out. It's a good one. But yeah. Yeah. Also, do I. Uh... Um, I want to make sure, like, I, I don't have, like, so I think my sh something happened with the stream for a second. I, also, <laughs> yeah, same, real quick. Elizabeth, we do that. Every time we see a movie, we think, could that be a house? <laughs> yeah, that's just the HHN community. That's how we are now, right? <laughs> um, here's here's a question real quick. How is everything sound and look right now in the stream? Is everything good? Like, I had some just pop up on my stream, and it just, like, went from... The viewers that we had to like three and i was like whoa did i lose it and then it went to zero for a second so i was like okay hold up oh. sounds good looks good we look good everything good yeah i don't think a breastfeeding giant naked mutant would be yeah probably not scary. probably not probably not what hornets is going for <laughs> okay everything's good Every, everyone's good good we're good we're good okay we're good we're good we're good cool i don't know i just had a, a panic moment weird. Anyways, should we get back to our agenda for tonight? I guess. All right. So get back to the <laughs> agenda for tonight and rumors and all that kind of stuff. We are done. <laughs> yeah, there's not much. There's not too much going on right now. It's like the same kind of rumors that we've been talking about. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you guys are, uh, if you guys follow us in Discord, you guys know I was talking about something. We were in the process of creating some. We're just waiting to get the green light on something. Didn't get it for tonight, which is a cool. We're just going to hang off on it. We're going to wait for it. 
Uh, I think Steph's diving into Discord right now to get you guys a link. We have it in the description down below in this live stream. Check that out. If that doesn't work, Steph's going to put an updated one in the chat if you guys don't have it. Uh, we, we also might do a little, maybe a live stream after party. Uh, I know some people have been wanting the live stream after party for tonight. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and do a live stream after party. Put it on tonight for you guys in Discord. Uh, so if you guys uh, are over on Discord or don't follow us on Discord yet, you can join us there. And we'll do a live stream after party. I more than likely will only be in there for just a few minutes. Um, but I'll let you guys go on and uh, kind of hang out and talk about all the stuff you guys talk about late into the the night we could do the rapid rapid fire for a longer period of time because we didn't get to like half but that's at the end of the stream are you saying you want to end the stream now (laughs) no (laughs) goodbye (laughs) um but there 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 was uh there's a couple things that we had planned for tonight tonight's stream we're gonna hold off on it save it for the a next or a live stream one of the next ones a a next live stream a neck how do you for one of the next for a future live stream yeah there you go well that's a lot easier to say brian future live stream a next uh, a next we'll save it for a future live stream and uh yeah what channel in discord uh it's the the link that stuff just posted once you join and go through the like steps to enter it um, oh yeah, yeah yeah you gotta do that then it'll show all the different yeah so once you join the discord it's going to take you to our like welcome page once we approve and get you guys through the process it'll take you to guidelines you'll have to go ahead and follow the steps on guidelines get that approved once and it's really simple just read it and you just got to check it off once that's approved it moves you on to the next stage where you can then customize the color of your name and all that stuff based on some things that we had theme shots uh put together which was really cool so you get to do that and then you get to select all the channels you want to be a part of uh it'll be in our lounge the, the lounge the fright oh yeah that's where the yeah. after party is so it'll be in the channel's lounge where we're gonna have that hosted uh but a very simple one for tonight and i'll let you guys kind of go wild with it however you guys want to so currently in the in the works for halloween horror nights there's some updates there's some things going out there we're just waiting for some more concrete stuff to really break to you guys uh but tonight's live stream is just very chilled one just talk about a couple of things we know a couple of rumors going on ghostbusters rumored obviously nightmare on elm street construction in hollywood going on the weekend potentially appearing as a scare zone at the event um as well as just a couple other things here and there but the, that's pretty much it right now we're just hanging tight the next question right now is when do we get the next announcement soon hopefully i want to know in the chat what do you guys think when will our next announcement be i want month date and time i want to be specific on this what do you guys think the next halloween horror nights announcement will be next thursday says javier next thursday thoughts on universal releasing the black shirt i think it was always in the plan better still not great yeah i think it was always in the plan for it tomorrow at 12 noon ambitious first week in may i'm giving it till may i got some people may, may 27th at 1 13 p.m next thursday 2 42 <laughs> okay february 9th at 10 45 benny bob watching from january right now okay oh april 30th is halfway to halloween hey so maybe then it's exciting huh Will Ghostbusters Frozen Empire being a flop affect its chance at H- HHN? I don't think so. No. I think if they were, if they are doing Ghostbusters, they had already planned it and everything, and it's kind of like, well, we're doing it at this point. Yeah, and I, right now the rumor is it's not even going to be the new ones. It's going to be Ghostbusters one and two mashup, uh, since they're celebrating their 40th and 30th respectively. So mm-hmm. it should be cool. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at the box office. Yeah. Um, but I know a lot of, a lot of those things are based on the box office rather than like critics reviews or like Rotten Tomato scores or anything like that. Cause it's more so about like the money that it brings in, yeah. which I can't imagine it not making money. At least got to even out, huh? But yeah, I see, um, majority of people are saying May, May 4th at 2.30. 
Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I see a lot of people saying May. Well, here's my question, Steph. When do you think our next announcement is going to be? Do you I think have, it's April or May? I have no idea. If you had to pick. Hopefully April. <laughs> really? You think April? Or you're, you're hoping Hopefully April. Sooner, the, sooner the better, right? I probably May. But... May. I personally think it'll be May. Yeah. I think May will be our, our next Halloween Horror Nights announcement. But now the question is, is it going to be a house announcement? Is it going to be a scare zone announcement? Is it going to be a show announcement? Is it going to be Hollywood My guess, announcement? well, maybe like Hollywood tickets and dates and stuff. But do you think we're just going to get Hollywood tickets and dates no. as their own? No, I think we'll get, I think the first announcement is going to be an IP. That's just my, my guess. Um, what was the first announcement last year? Remind me. Uh, Hondo. Actually, Chat. what was the first announcement? Was it? Anybody remember? It wasn't Last of Us, was it? No, it wasn't Last of Us. Was it Last of Us? I thought you were Last of Us. Yeah, Last oh. of Us. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. te technically Chucky. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. Chucky yeah. was. Chucky, Chucky. But, but in yeah. the year, it was Last of Us. I yes. definitely think it'll be an IP house. That's the first thing we're getting. I think it'd be a dual house. Yeah. So one that we're getting on the West Coast and East Coast, whether it's IP or original, yeah. I think it's going to be a dual house, obviously, so that Hollywood could then say, here's our dates and tickets and all that kind of stuff. I can uh, definitely, that's kind of what they've done. I can definitely see it being Ghostbusters as the first You one. think Ghostbusters, huh? Yeah. That's just my guess. Okay. Should we, I mean, you know what we should do? I don't know if we'll do it in tonight's live stream. Bet on it. <laughs> Bet, yeah. Bet on. No, I knew. <laughs> God, I knew that was coming up. Um, what if we like? What if we did? Maybe, maybe next Tuesday. Because I'm still, I'm still thinking if we're gonna do a live stream next Tuesday or not. Um, the plans are to hopefully do one. We we may do one, but if we do, we'll probably bring the code names back up. And talk about the code names again and see kind of which one could be which maybe we might, oh, yeah. we might do something like that we might bring the code name idea. conversations back into the mix yeah so have we gotten any more of those i think we're still missing two right yeah chat do you guys know are we we're still missing two code names for houses supposedly for this year's event right at least out here in uh orlando correct yeah i feel like the first house announced is kind of like not sets the tone for the year, but I definitely think it's one that they think is going to be like, like a big one for the year. You know what I mean? What? What? What are you pointing at? I don't know. This like keeps like going up and down, saying like the live streams like ended. I don't know. Oh. Hello. Yeah, mine thinks that my. You get. You guys can hear and see us, right? Mine says we only have. 30 people watching it, yeah it keeps going like uh like i get like on my end it, it crashes and says live stream has ended i'm like hello you guys can see us right you can hear us as long as you can see and hear us we is, got okay my chat's back up yeah everybody said everything looks fine elizabeth said 157 watching weird but then Benny Bob really said care. 32 i don't care how many people are i know watching. i know we don't really care about that i'm interrupting but it, I have to go to the bathroom soon. Uh, <laughs> I really don't care. It's it's more of so I want to make sure everyone can see us because on my end, it says the live stream has ended. <laughs> I, want, I want to make sure I did not click a button that ended the live stream, but we're, we're good. Okay, we're good. Something's going on. We're good. Universal's watching. You guys remember the ghost of uh, the garage, <laughs> the ghost of HHN? It's Brian Robinson. That's, hi that's hacking us. <laughs> Brian Robinson's my dad. When we had that bug, what was that bug? Do you remember the bug? We had a couple of bugs. I feel like there were a couple of flies. Um, but yeah, should we do? Uh, I think because we're we're coming to the like I said, this is gonna be like more of a chilled live stream. Chilled. Uh, very laid back. We have some things that we plan to do um, in the future. And and not getting into any spoilers here. Stephanie's making sure I don't say anything, and I won't. Uh, but recently, these past few days, we've been working on some pretty big, we got a big project that we're trying to get to. Um, and uh, I'm hoping we can make this work. 
Because if we do, I think you guys are going to love it. I think it's going to be really cool. So we're working on it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be cool. We got cool stuff coming y'all's way. Y'all wait for it. But uh, I think we're going to be coming to the end of our live stream. And of course, we're going to be doing that rapid fire Q&A section here to wrap it up. And then we'll go ahead and go on Discord, do a little live stream after party for you guys and stuff. Uh, plans for this week. We uh, we will be talking conversation of doing a video. We do plan to potentially sit down, get a video for you guys up by this weekend, and then potentially get next Tuesday a live stream, which will correlate to that video, of yes. course. Uh, so we have some things coming up. We do also... Thank you to everybody reminding us in the chat. Um, we do also have a merch shop if you guys haven't checked it out yet. I personally keep forgetting. Yes. And I'm, wear I'm wearing the hoodie. Yes. We have the hoodies. We have t-shirts. We have hats. The posters that are behind us are for sale as well. Yes. Um, so yeah, go check it out. Yeah. It all, is all free. purchases. www.fright the fright club no, shop. No, just the one and only no, fright club shop. It is just frightclubshop.com. Yes. So www.frightclubshop.com. You can find the link down in the description down below for you guys if you want to check out some of the merchandise the store. And yeah. we do have another line coming out. We are working. Soon. We're working on stuff, I promise. Yeah, we got some stuff coming out soon. And some that I know people have been wanting for a while. It's coming soon. But yeah. So that's the uh, that's the store. I keep forgetting about that. I keep forgetting. <laughs> let's go. Cool. All purchases go to helping. So Yeah, mine says two viewers. Who are the two of you out there? <laughs> I wanted to go down to zero. <laughs> Nobody's watching. It's like it says zero people watching. However, we're getting like comments. Yeah, exactly. It's right? so weird. Yeah, uh, sp guys, spam in the chat. Uh, just spam in the chat right now saying who who's still here? Who's alive? Yeah, everybody's saying it's me because I, I said, who's the two watching? Everybody's me, like, it's me. me. Who? <laughs> it's like we're playing a we're playing like a game of Ghostface right now, <laughs> and it's like we're lo we're losing people left and right. They're, the the ghost is taking them. We also the, got a super chat. The killers, the killers escaping. The killers escaping. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we did. Miles menus and mysteries M three. By the way, if you guys don't know M three, good friends of ours, absolute great friends, great people. They have a new YouTube channel. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to spoil it. I don't care if he he's, gets mad at me or not. Uh, you guys want to mark your calendars for April 19th. Their first episode is going to be going live April 19th. If you guys are into mysteries and cryptids and things like that, aliens, Alien abductions, abductions. Uh, they actually have a really cool, interesting uh, piece that they're going to be releasing on the 19th coming up very soon. Check that out. Give them some love. Show them some support on their channel. But they said, uh, here's some here's some dono money with five saying, can't wait to see you all in the fog and please see Hereditary Brian. I will make sure that I have the availability to see it. Potentially. We're going to see it. We have tickets. So more than likely we'll see yes. it. M3, the five. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Much love to you guys. So I think we should do a rapido fuego. Yes. Rapido fuego. I don't know how to. What, how do you say Q in Spanish? Almost said qua. Qua? Qua? Qua. Como se dice Q? Uh, so, yeah, let's do the final rapid fire QA. Let me get this. Bada bing. We're pulling it up. Also, forgot to hide that. Hopefully, that wasn't the issue that I was having. That's probably why. That should fix it. Maybe rapid fire the final one ladies and gentlemen you guys know what to do put your questions in we shall answer it with the final timer being on the screen stephanie smith you're up find a question and mm. shoot away any chance buy one get one tickets will come back this year <laughs> very slim chance that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> very slim chance um house that you most want to become a scare zone Ooh, past year. Okay. Also, we're going to keep count of how many questions we can get in, in five minutes. So second one. Stephanie? Oh, what? Which one house that you would love to see as a scare zone? Oh, I thought you were answering. I mean, we're both. Um, Slaughter Cinema. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Slaughter Cinema were really cool. Uh, uh, yes, I'm just going to go with that for now. <laughs> that or the wick Wicked Growth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wick I mean, we kind of got that. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Uh, Yeti Campground Kills or Dead Man's Pier? Dead Man's Pier. Mm. Yeti Campground Kills was fun, but I, Dead Man's Pier just was just that much more. Yeti. 
No. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. And remember, y'all, I don't know. These are two that you were like, I don't really uh, care for either of them, yeah. to be honest. All right. If you got a random offer to scare act again this year, would you accept the offer? Is it for every night of the event or like one night? And here's the thing. What, if, what do you mean by random offer? Who's offering me this? <laughs> hey, can you take my one night, please? I need this night off. Um, I would like to, but I think there are some conditions that have to be met. I think if it's every night of the event. Hmm, if it's every night of the event. Probably not. We're not doing the YouTube channel. Yeah, we can't do the YouTube channel. We're not doing that. I, there's a lot. There's just a lot that goes into it. That basically has to be like your job. Yeah. Uh, next question. HHN at Dark Universe. No. I I personally don't want to see HHN at Epic at all, but I also think it'd be very hard to get HHN at Dark Universe just because of all yeah. the different uh, IP properties that they have there. It'd be really hard to work that in. It's so far away, too. Yeah. Go. You. Um, Go you. We also got a super chat from Southridge. Ooh, Southridge wanna... is buying their way into the rapid fire <laughs> with the 199. Will Minion's house be in Minion Blast or Mayhem? What? What is that question? Uh, I think, I think you have to look in the mirror and ask yourself what it should be. Yeah. Uh, Simpsons the ride for HHN. Yeah, that, you know that's a good question. Simpsons well, has kind of been up and down with. Uh, I think it'll be closed. I think it'll be closed. I like it. Yeah. Also, I forgot. I realized we actually have information we have to tell you guys after rapid fire Q and A. That's kind of okay. important, so Save it might it. extend the Q and, or the live stream. But oh, go ahead. Save it. Um, what would be the worst thing they could bring back for the sequel house? You mean like the worst sequel, or I don't know. I think I'm confused. We'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. <laughs> Do you know what that's asking? I, I can't find it. I don't have my chat's not working the same as yours. Oh, sorry. Find another <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> worst HHN house you've gone through. Oof. Chucky. I hate, I, I hate saying ones are like the worst no, or I, like I mean, bad. Okay, the least favorite one. <sighs> Chucky last year was just kind of a bummer for me. I don't know. I feel like the first time I went through um, Hellblock Horror, I was like, this is the worst house. Yeah, I've Hellblock been. Horror kind of was like, uh, it just, it, it felt like it was kind of thrown together at the last second. <laughs> kind of was. I'm, exactly. But Chucky, they had time on it. That's why I'm like, I would say Chucky was. Okay, uh, let's see. Here we go. Favorite um, scare zone ever. Vamp 85. Yep. Boom. That's both of us. Uh, Moving on, next question. I can't even see. Which HHN icon would you have dinner with? None of them. <laughs> Which HH? Uh, ooh. Fear. HHN icon, fear. I'd pick fear. I feel like I'd pick Lady Luck just because she seems the nicest. Good luck with that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, we still got 30 seconds. We can get If a you could more. be a scare actor, any scare actor character in any house, but not a previous character you have been, who and why? That was Hondo Snorton. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I would love to be the witch. Uh, scary the, Tales in, in 2018. Scary Tales that over. flew over the whole thing. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be cool. Honestly... I, I mean, this technically doesn't count. I'm wrong about this, but Dracula from Legends Collide, the one that flies out. We both want to fly. Yeah, that looks fun, like flying out. That would be cool. I know, yes, I know, but not this. I mean, yes, but I want to I wanted to be the flying one. That was cool. I think that was cool. Yeah. Especially having the mummy and the wolf man right there in that little section. That was I also neat. would have loved to be one of the vamps in 85 who did the little show on the stage oh that could have been cool yeah uh i know rapid fire timer is down but let's do one more one more question because we took too long favorite thing about scare acting favorite thing about scare acting is the fact that you got to see and appreciate the event from the other side of the mask and see how much of the hard work it actually is put and how much passion is put into this event my every favorite year. thing was scaring people so badly that they fell I love you. 
It was the best when people just drop and you're like, hey. I mean, yeah, we can, we can get the details of like how it was fun to just get paid to scare people. Yes, mm -hmm. obviously. But uh, the more PR answer, I would say. <laughs> I, would, I would say that. But Yeah, and the friends that you make because it is very much like your cast, depending on your cast, but your cast does kind of become like a family because you're really going through it all together. Yeah, and I mean, if you guys don't know, I mean, that's how... I got to meet Steph, and here we are today. My best friend, you know, uh, part of M3. Hey, you know, all all came from scare acting. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, my life now and what we do with this channel is because of Horror Nights and because of scare acting. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. So, yeah, I'm not going to get emotional. Don't worry. But that's going to wrap it up for a rapid fire Q&A, the final one for today. I like that. And before we close it out, before it's done, There's one more thing I forgot to bring up. According to WDWNT. Oh, yeah. I want you to say because you you had it up. Um, They said this was like an hour before our stream started, but they had tweeted that Universal did officially. What do you call that? Confirm that Fast and Furious will be closed. What, the 19th? Yeah, August 19th. Through November 3rd. 3rd. Yes. So. So, you know how you we've go. we've had the uh, the rumor of, you know, Fast and Furious is going to be closed down. What could it be? Can it extend and be a house like longer for that, you know, Fast and Furious tent location? With it closing down August 19th, potentially, the problem is with it opening back up after November 3rd, that's too soon. So I don't see this potentially really being used for Halloween Horror Nights in a way of like, I think it's just an extension. I think it's just to save money. They did this when they reopened after COVID um, with several attractions where they would be like seasonal and they were like closed for a period of time. So I think that's probably why they're doing that. Yeah, maybe. Also, uh, we got a question from from Bean from Bean. Uh, can y'all do a video? A bean. Can y'all do a video on tickets and what to purchase for out of staters? Just a best tips to save video. Um, we actually do have a series that will be uh, coming out soon. Around May, June is when we do this series, but it's the uh, beginners of HHN series. So we'll have a whole list of videos that we do that's specified to people who have never been to HHN. It's their first time. Um, even people out of state and even people who have been to HHN. It's just some good tips and stuff that the whole community usually gives out there. Yeah. We will be doing another series this year. We did one last year, but around May, June is when we start that series. And it's going to go along with, you know, the best tips uh, as far as like ticket purchasing, which ones you need to do, what time of the year you should go, what time of the year based on when you do go, yeah. what pricing you should look at, what to expect, all that kind of stuff. And we have videos like this for every year, but we like to do them every year based on that current year's, you know, situation because things do change, change year to year. So you could go back and watch one of our older videos about that. Um, but we will be doing one specifically for this year. Yeah. So we got, we got, yeah. Yeah. We got, we got some yeah. written down and, and ready to go. We, we do have a lot on the calendar that we hope to get to this year. This mm -hmm. can be a lot of fun. I think it'd be really cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, Irfan said, I'm the only viewer. Yeah. That, yeah right? says there's only one person watching. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with, uh. <laughs> With you too. That's, that's the H -H this goes. is so weird because I was watching um, Tim and Jen's live stream before this. Trackers, yeah. Yeah, from Monday, and they had the same thing happen, where yeah. like all their viewers went away, and then I like came back up. It's just YouTube. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's what happens when. I'm not gonna say here. The one viewer <laughs> Actually, is Hondo. Actually, Hondo. <laughs> He's not even watching. He's not even watching. He's dead asleep. I'm surprised <laughs> he didn't get up and come. Uh, we did run him around a bit right yeah, before. That's true. Yeah. Um, Mr. Disney King said, "Idea for a video: Announce Brian from Orlando's own HHN event with your ten houses, scare zones, food, etc." We actually. That is on the list. Have that on the list. 
even though Steph said not to spoil some of these things on the list. That is on the list. We do have it. Yes. We like I said, when so all right, I'm gonna put it out there. Sorry, Steph. I won't say much. I won't say much. Yeah, don't. Our countdown to HHN series. Our countdown to HHN series will uh for the past few years, we've done it in the month of August, leading up to Halloween Horror Nights starting in September. However, this year, Halloween Horror Nights is starting in August. So I think it's only fitting that we potentially, what is currently the plan, is no longer to do Countdown to HHN in August, but to extend it into July also. So we might be doing our Countdown to HHN series, extend it into July, and doing some of our shows then, some of our videos, and topics like that video right there that we have on the agenda we'll be putting it around that series time frame uh just because it's more of a what we call like a fun video it's just something that would be fun we put it out there but it has no like importance or correlation to the actual event whereas for these few months with the speculation going into the announcement we'll go ahead and do uh like the informative stuff then we'll get into the fun stuff soon also the goonies poster back there dead serious i just saw like a figure just walk right across it. And I thought it was me or you, so I started moving a bit. No. You thought you were walking across? No, I thought like I moved and like it was me moving, oh. but it wasn't. It like went the other way and it doesn't make sense. All right, confirm the H agent ghost <laughs> is here tonight. He found us. Oh, and uh also somebody said summer ween. Summer ween. We might. This is in conversation, Steph and I. You guys know I, I do too much and we never get to doing it. We might do something special for Summerween or something this summer, somewhere in early July, late June. We might do something around the time frame where we do the slasher Summerween, summer slasher. We might do something like that. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe like some watch parties. We might put some films like Nightmare on Elm Street and things like that on and do some watch parties with you guys. Uh, we'll see, maybe. But yeah. it's been it's been in conversation. We'll think about um, it. Also, Claudia said tips for scaredy cats. I want to live my best life at HHN, but loud loud noises get me so bad, and I get really anxious. Um, is that on our list? Yeah. Like a scaredy cats. That guide? will be. Yes, that will be involved in a video. Yeah. But to answer your question, to give you like one tip right now, I'd say uh, bring some headphones. Headphones or earplugs. Or earplugs, yeah. yeah. I'd say earplugs is more respectable than, like... I mean, people can wear headphones. Yeah, you can wear headphones. But, like, I feel like whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Yeah, they allow it. So, yeah, yeah. do, do you know, do that. They do... Uh, I, do they give earplugs out sometimes? I think you can ask team members for earplugs. I don't know, but you can get them real cheap. Yeah. So, just yeah. the little, like, squishy ones. It actually helps a lot. Like, you'd be surprised how much it... Like, sound I mean, actually blocks out. Scare acting-wise, we, I mean, we had to. Yeah. Um, also, I do want to say this, too. Yeah, uh, Theme Shots also said, Hawaiian HHN barbecue watch party. Potentially. <laughs> that might be in the works. Um, I do want to say another thing as far as to, like, a tip like that for scary cats. Uh, watch HHN videos from years past. Mm -hmm. I know I've gotten some heat for this when i tell people like oh watch some of the videos and they're like videos cannot prepare you for what's about to happen you're not gonna die nobody's gonna touch you yeah. no one's going after you one two it just gives you kind of a like an anticipation to kind of see how things go watch a bunch of different youtubers there's a bunch of different youtubers out there who have hhn experiences from not just recent years but years and years and years of halloween horror nights go check them out watch some of those old videos watch some of the new ones and then if you're somebody who's also hesitant for horror movies, do what I do. I like watching the older ones because it looks more fake than, you know, some of the newer stuff in a way. And so I can cope with it yeah. better than watching some of the more newer ones. Um, and then anything that's announced for Horror Nights, you know, get along with groups. Follow Like, for instance, we have a Discord. Follow us with, you know, get in our Discord fam there with the Fright Club and chat with the, the people here and stuff. And um it gets you more excited for that so it helps you along the way another thing i'm giving you the whole video right now <laughs> another thing too is you're at universal right uh this is actually one thing i tell a lot of people who are hesitant to go into halloween horror nights you're at universal it's a family theme park 
course, the event's more mature, but there are thousands of people there as well. And take it from two people who have been on the other side of the mask scaring you. This is what we look like. This is how we act. Mm -hmm. Just people. So she she did mention that it was more so like the loud noises that kind of like, which I can understand. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the headphones also the the most like loud or like jarring noises are going to be in the houses. You won't have that too too much in the streets. Um, if you don't want people like coming up to you in your face, stay on like the the sidewalks, kind of stay on the edge of the street. For Orlando. Yeah, not for Hollywood. You're not safe in Hollywood. But for Orlando, if you stay kind of on the sidewalks and like kind of out of the way, most of them won't like come chase you or anything. Yeah. But yeah, not in Hollywood. If you're going to Hollywood, then good luck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, when it comes to Hollywood, I don't know what to tell you about that. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say is Orlando needs to be like Hollywood as far as the energy. Period. Yeah. Okay, period. There you go. <laughs> So, with that being said, I think we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up for tonight. I need to go to the restroom, and I need to get some food. I have not eaten. I've been trying to stay away from eating before the live streams now because my heartburn it's been killing <laughs> me. These that past. acid reflux. It's been killing me. So I'm I'm, I'm waiting, and now I'm looking at the time, and I'm like I'm uh, getting a little hungry. Uh, so we're gonna be wrapping up tonight's live stream to the one viewer that's watching <laughs> us right now. It says one viewer. It's your mom. It's it's my mom. It's Hi, Mrs. Robinson. Or is it Chris Dustings, the your mom? Oh that, that, yeah. That's all he says. Um, so yeah, so the one person that's watching, a shout out to you. We appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for us in tonight's live stream. Just talked about a couple of rumors, some things, a little bit of updates going on. Just chatting with you guys, rapid fire, yada yada, um, and hopefully for something special to come up soon that we're looking forward to. <laughs> Potentially, I'm excited for you guys. I think you guys are gonna love what's coming up. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, we're gonna be. Hondo. He's knocked out. Hondo, you, you guys want to see Hondo? You want to come in the video? Come here. Okay, here comes Hondo. You get hold up. You guys get a Hondo present as he's knocking everything down. How do you do that, dude? It's just easy to just get up. Say hello. Here's the the stinky butt, the wiggler. Come here. You gotta say hello to the camera. Now he literally looked towards the stairs like no one's <laughs> there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We'll give him some attention now. But we'll go ahead if you guys uh, have, you know, if you're in our Discord, we're going to be doing that live stream after party. Uh, I'll join in just for a few minutes and stuff and let you guys kind of go at it. And we'll go from there. But yeah. Cool. Good night. We're signing out. We're done. <laughs> Until the next video, we look forward to seeing you guys there. And like always, Hondo will catch you in the fog. Peace out, everybody.